we're a befriending charity and we've been going since 2012. The volunteer will visit them once a week for an hour or two for a chat, a cup of tea, play a game, do a quiz. Um, the most valuable part of the visit is the conversation, is the, is the opportunity for the lonely person to talk and to be listened to and to be valued. And we do reviews every six months just to make sure that the befriender and the befriendee's friendship, which is what we're hoping for, works well. So you feel that you're making a difference. Our well, aim is to provide advice and information to anybody in the community who, who needs our support. Um, last year we helped over 14,000 local people, so that's 20 people every single day. It's free. You know, you can just come to us and we'll help you out. So. I've been help here. Everything resolved and uh, everything back to normal after. And it was what I felt when I just want to give something back and I started volunteering as well. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it is very worth when you when you just going up again and you want to help other people to just feel the, exactly the same. So it is why a lot of people volunteer. Hi, I'm Lisa. I nominated Debbie Jones. Um, she runs a group for people with mental health problems and who are lonely called Beyond the Blues. And she worked tirelessly to make this a group that people actually wanted to go to. She organised a community garden in front of the foyer with raised beds. So then she appealed for funding from the renewable energy plant for um, a shed where they could keep everything and where they could do activities in the winter. And um, again, she didn't stop there. She thought about involving Arts NK to start putting on woodwork classes in the shed. And that's the kind of person she is. She just keeps on going and moving forward. And I think that is says something to the people she worked with, that she wasn't going to give up on them. And she was going to see their um, humanity and their potential. And, and I think because everybody has their own struggles of loneliness and mental health at any point in their life, it, it was really um, special in that way. Um.